Oh, it's 40 years to the day since BBC Radio Humberside officially hit the airwaves. It was one of the country's first BBC local radio stations and since then has grown to be one of the most listened to in East Yorkshire and Northern Lincolnshire. Well, Amanda Thompson has been looking through the archives. You're in tune with BBC Radio Humberside. It's in people's lives in a sense that television, no disrespect, cannot be. Rediffusion Channel B. And I listened and I thought, I'm enjoying this, I like this, I'd like to have a go. Radio Humberside. I used to edit uh, using white China graph pencils and single-edged razor blades. <laughs> It was 40 years ago today that BBC Radio Humberside hit the airwaves and for four decades now it's been sharing the tragedies. I've seen women walking down the streets covered in blood, their hair still in curlers. And the triumphs with the people of Northern Lincolnshire and East Yorkshire. There's a new name on the court to score 10 past to 5 in favour of Hokingston Rovers. We are the one for you. Radio Over the years, there have been many highlights. Memorably, a listener trip to Brussels once doubled as honeymoon for presenter Judy Murden. I can remember having a, a guided tour of the engine room at, at midnight, still in my wedding dress. So did you spend your wedding night in bunk beds then on a ferry? Yes, <laughs> and that's all I'm saying to that. Radio Humberside, medium wave 202, VHF 96.9, and Rediffusion Channel B, yeah! For more than 30 years, the station broadcast from these studios on Hull's Chapel Street, the place where radio magic was woven. People used to say, you're the only voice I hear all day. And it was a big responsibility because we kept them company, we kept them informed. People think that it's just talking to them. It's an extremely intimate thing. And I really do think that's been very important that Radio Humberside's managed to keep that. You're listening to BBC Local Radio for the County of Humberside. Radio Humberside on VHF 96.9 megahertz, medium wave 202 metres, 1485 kilohertz. 40 years on, the technology has changed, but the enthusiasm hasn't. BBC Radio Humberside is looking forward to life beginning at 40. Well, there's some fantastic haircuts and outfits in that. Uh, Amanda is live in the BBC Open Centre for us in Hull this evening, where some of the old and newer faces of Radio Humberside are. Amanda, um, what do you think is the station's enduring appeal then? Well, Caroline, it simply has to be the affection and the respect between this radio station and its listeners. It, it's mutual. Look around you. Uh, staff, past and present, all gathered here to celebrate the 40 years we've been serving this community and the way we've been taken to the heart of this community as well. We're out there in the snow, in the rain, on some of the worst days in the history of this region and some of the most amazing days now. Andy Comfort, our breakfast presenter, you'll have uh, seen him this week on his bicycle, um, doing the highways and byways. Uh, Andy, you've been raising money for the hospice appeal, St Andrew's Hospice, £10,000 this week. Congratulations. Thank you. How has this week summed up for you our relationship with our listeners? We have been gobsmacked by the support we've had. Every village, every community, every town we've been to, people have been there. And I just think it, it's, it gladdens the heart to see people there raising money for something in their community. So thank you to everybody who's helped this week. We are so proud. Thank well you. Well done, mate. I'm thank proud you. of you as well. Now, it's not just Andy that's been doing this. The students at Jam FM at the whole university have been raising money for us as well. Now, Mike Cartwright is uh, Mr Grimsby. Mike, very quickly, sum up, is the future bright for broadcasting? It's very bright indeed, Amanda. Uh, for local radio in particular, local radio is pure imagination, creativity with a little bit of organisation. Mike, it certainly was when you were my mentor. Time's beaten as love. It's lovely to see you. A great day, Caroline, for Radio Humberside and a bright future. Amanda, thank you. And a huge well done and thank you to everyone who has helped BBC Radio Humberside's candle appeal. It's an incredible amount that has been raised. Andy Comfort did reach his £10,000 target and every bit really will help. All going, of course, to support St Andrew's Hospice in Grimsby. You can still donate as well. And if you want to see more memories of Radio Humberside over the last 40 years, some cracking pictures, uh, log on to bbc.co.uk forward slash Humberside. Now let's get a recap of the national and the regional headlines tonight. 
Colonel Gaddafi calls on his supporters to defend Libya as violence spreads across the country. There are fears for the future of services across Hull as the city council cuts millions of pounds from its budget. And a cloudy and wet start. Some heavy bursts of rain at first. Uh, the rain will turn showery later with some bright spells. Maximum temperature 10 degrees Celsius. To your comments then about council cuts. Uh, I work for the Hull City and the service I used to provide has had a huge hit. Uh, the hardest part's explaining to the young people that I've got to leave. Please, Hull City Council, don't do this to us, says Tricia. Why target the vulnerable, the elderly and the kiddies? Surely not. We're less able to have our voices heard. How can these people sit in a room and know where to cut if they've never visited the agencies and see the impact that they have on the families of Hull? I think it is disgrace. And they go on. Thank you for all of your emails all of your comments this week. It's been a pleasure sitting in for Peter. He's back with you again on Monday. Have a lovely weekend. Bye-bye.